This is a video to show you how to design, cut, and print a linoleum relief print. We're going to start with a little art history first. Fritz Eichenberg was an illustrator that worked mainly in black and white and in wood engraving. One of the giants of 20th century printmaking is Leonard Baskin. You can see his very aggressive woodcut style where he's designing mainly with the black line in several of these pieces. But he also deals with the concept of figure ground where he considers what is positive and what is negative in the black and white. Kathy Kalwitz is able to show that the positive space is sometimes cut through with her white line instead of designed with the black line. All of these artists would be excellent to look at before you start designing your actual print. I'm showing you a method of using a sharpie uh, traced over a photograph that is of the same dimensions of the piece that you're going to eventually cut on the linoleum. Use the wide tip uh, of the sharpie because if your lines are too thin they'll break when you're actually carving. You can also do this in Photoshop as, which is how I come up with the image that I'm going to transfer next. I also designed so that there are elements where it is black on white and white on black. Here I'm taping down um, it's a copy, a photocopy, it needs to be a laser uh, image onto the actual block so that it won't move. I'm going to use wintergreen oil, which you can get at like health food stores. Um, it's what is actually the minty smell that's in Ben Gay. Um, you'll notice that I'm dotting it on uh, and I wipe the brush off a lot because you don't want it really super wet and pooling up when you first put it on. Uh, then you're going to rub it with a wooden spoon. The heat that comes out of the wintergreen oil will actually transfer the toner off onto the block. And so this takes a lot longer than I'm making it look right here, but you can kind of pull up and see if it's coming off. It only needs to be good enough uh, for you to be able to see the image. It doesn't have to be perfectly black in every spot, but there you can see that the image comes off in reverse. There are several different tips that are held in the handle of the linoleum cutter. There are different gouges. Pick out a, a smaller one or a bigger one depending on what area needs to be cut out. Uh, and obviously you need big deeper areas where it's supposed to stay light uh, so that the ink won't hit that. Uh, avoid cutting toward your own hand um, so that you don't have any accidents. You also want to make sure that on your black lines that are going to exist that you are not undercutting them. That simply means that the top surface needs to be narrower than the part that is holding it up. Um, so if you undercut, the line is more likely to break off, uh, both while you're carving and while you're printing. Um, I'm just using a brush here to clean out all the little crumbs um, that are just indicative of the material. Um, I often just use an old toothbrush to do this as well because you're going to want to clean that out before you eventually print it or it'll pull up in the ink. Sometimes as you're carving it's easier to just move uh, around with your free hand, move the block, um, instead of curving the tool itself. So before I actually print I have a sheet of paper and that I'm going to eventually print on. And I have cut a piece of cardboard. You could use mat board for this. Um, and then I've cut a couple strips. This is going to be a type of jig that you will print with. What it's going to do is keep your piece of paper uh, completely centered on the block when you are printing. Uh, so I clamp these, put some glue on them, clamp each side at a time and let that dry. Uh, and then I'm going to do the second side here and I will have this ready to be able to print with. Um, it's something that we will use also when we're printing on the press but when you're printing by hand it's really hard to just lay a piece of paper on top of the block and get it perfectly centered so this is going to be the way that we are able to do that. Um, so you can see we're ready to go here. I put some ink out already. Um, I'm just testing this this time, so I'm using a really kind of super cheap water-based ink um, so I can see if I need to make any changes later on. Make sure that you completely cover this. This ink actually doesn't spread out very well, uh, and I don't like that very much, but it is fine for just 
checking the progress of the image here. So make sure that you've covered that um, uh, completely over every area of your block. Uh, again, you can see that it's in reverse on the block. That will mean that it will come out the right way when we actually go to print it. Um, so once it's all inked up, I slide it into the jig there and I am able to take the piece of paper, which is this paper is two sided. One has a smoother side and the other one's a little rougher. We're going to use the smooth side down. Line it on the sides there, line, align it on the sides. And then you're just going to start rubbing it again on the back with a wooden spoon. This is essentially the same thing you were doing when you were transferring the image. You can check the progress uh, the same way by pulling it up a little uh, and, and looking at it. Um, but you want to make sure that it doesn't shift and um, you'll get a double image if, if the paper shifts on there. Um, but this is the way that you're going to be able to print this by hand, um, which is great because this is a printmaking process that you can use uh, at home. It doesn't require a press. So you can print it just by hand. It's actually fairly easy cleanup too. Um, so again, this is just a test print. It allows me to see if there were some things that I needed to cut a little bit deeper or change a little bit. Um, and we're actually going to use an oil-based ink when I finally do print this. But pull it off and take a look at it and see how it appears. And that's the basics of making a linoleum print.